Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you could join me today. Are you ready for another unboxing today? I'm so excited because I have the curated bee box for the month of June. They're always really early and I like that. I actually received it a couple of days ago, but I haven't had a chance to sit down and film. So hopefully I'm not too late. And I did take a little peek at the box. So I'm very curious about what kind of bees we're gonna be getting. Hopefully they're happy, summery colors. Now, if you're not familiar with the curated bee box, I'll leave a link down below so you can go check it out. But basically curated bee box is a monthly bead subscription box that includes all kinds of things things such as beads, charms, pendants and other items specially selected with unique color combinations and themes. There are usually enough items to make a number of pieces such as bracelets, necklaces and earrings. The box goes for $20 a month which includes shipping in the USA and if you don't want a subscription you can always just buy the box individually. They actually do offer previous boxes on their website. One of the nice things about this box is their Finding Starter Kit which usually comes in either silver or gold and if you're a beginner wondering where or how to start this is the perfect box for you because the Finding Starter Kit includes crimp beads, elastic, beading wire, memory wire, head pins, jump rings, ear wires and lobster claw clasps. So there's no need to go out and buy anything extra because everything you need is included except for the tools of course. Anyway like I said I'll leave a link down below along with a coupon code for 35% off your first subscription box. The coupon code is LOUISA35. So anyway guys if you're interested in building up your bead stash this is the box for you. Now before we get started let me remind you to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so because it really does help my channel and it helps me as a content creator to stay motivated to create more videos for you. Another thing that helps is if you give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. So let's not wait anymore. I want to get into the unboxing so let's go ahead turn the camera around and we'll get started. And here we have curated bee box for the month of June. As you can see, the name of the box is Bumblebees. I love that little graphic, it's so cute. As you can see, they always give you a little preview on the box and I really like that because say for instance, I'm looking for a specific bead from a previous box. I can just glance at the image on the label without having to open the box or look at the list of contents. So anyway, as you can see, they have a detailed list of what's in the box right here on the left. And on the right is a list of all the codes for each one. You can use these codes on their online store if you're looking for a specific bead from a previous box. And then I also want to show you down here, it says bead sizes and types may vary due to availability. And the reason I'm pointing this out is because you may not get the exact same beads that I'm going to be showing you today. But anyway, down here it says the items are available on dollarbead.com using our model numbers. And these are the model numbers. So anyway, I'm very excited about opening this box. Let me go ahead and do that. It always comes wrapped up in tissue and there are tons of beads as always. Look at this guys, look at this enormous amount of beads. You definitely get your money's worth and if you're looking to build up your bead stash, this is the box for you. But anyway, I see some beautiful earth tones, some yellow tones and even though we have the yellow, these are very neutral tones. Let me go ahead and organize it and we'll go through each one. I thought we'd take a look at the larger beads first. These are the 12 millimeter size. This first strand here is the pale gold faceted glass bead. It's a 13 inch strand. Aren't these beautiful? I love this color. One of the things I like about the facets on these beads is that they have um, smooth edges. They're not sharp edges, which makes them look very glossy. I can see putting a filigree bead cap on these. I think it would look lovely. I'm going to have to go into my stash and see if I can find some bead caps. We don't normally get bead caps with curated bead box. Once in a while we do but we don't have any this month. So anyway, I may or may not put bead caps on these. I'll have to think about it. They're very beautiful. And here we have a jade style glass bead and this is an eight inch strand and the color is sea glass. And you can see why they have a very pale greenish bluish tint and they're definitely transparent. I can see using these in a pair of earrings. I think they're lovely. I really like the color. And these weren't in a strand, these were in a bag. Now the description says we're supposed to get 16 of these but I actually got 17 so I guess I'm lucky. But anyway guys as you can see these are in a beautiful bronze color. They're Drusy style glass beads and they're relatively matte as you can see. And even though they're bronze they actually pick up the sea glass color. So these would look really nice with this strand right here but they actually coordinate perfectly with this strand as well. I always like mixing my finishes. I like to mix matte beads with shiny beads. I think it gives a nice effect. So anyway, I really love these colors. Let's take a look at the smaller beads now. And here we have the 10 millimeter size beads. And I'm really happy that they gave us a gemstone strand this time. I don't know what kind of gemstone it is. The description doesn't list it. It's probably some kind of agate, but I don't know for sure. Let's take a look at this first one here. 
As you can see, these are glass pearl beads and the color is vanilla gold. And that's why they look a little bit on the yellowish side, but it's not a very bright yellow. It's a toned down yellow. And I like that because it makes it easier to coordinate these with other beads. Sometimes if the colors are really bright, it's really difficult to make something work in terms of harmony. But when you have toned down colors like these or muted tones, then it's a lot easier. So anyway, guys, this is an eight inch strand. And as you can see, you get a lot of beads in the strand. And I love this one. I love the speckles in these beautiful crackle beads. These are called crackle seasoned glass beads. And I see two colors in these crackle beads. I see brown and I see black. These look very elegant to me for some reason. I don't know if it's the colors, but I'm going to enjoy designing with these because once again, we have neutral tones and these actually look very nice with the yellow beads. I love them. Let's take a look at the gemstones. I'm pretty sure this is agate, but I could be wrong. I see a lot of banding and I see a lot of different colors. Most of the colors here are gray tones, but I see gold right there and I see blue right there. So anyway, that's really nice of Curated Bee Bucks to include gemstones this month. And of course the colors coordinate beautifully. Let's take a look at the eight millimeter size beads now. And here are the eight millimeter size beads. Now these yellows are a little bit different than the ones that I showed you earlier. As you can see, these are more of a warm yellow, whereas these are a cool yellow. But nevertheless, I like the color. Let's take a look at this first one here. This is a very long strand. It's a 16 inch strand and these are marble style glass beads. And the name of this color is khaki, which I find interesting because it's a yellow colored bead. The paint effect does have a little bit of khaki though. So maybe that's why they call it that. But I think they're very pretty and I love this beautiful paint effect. They've given us marble style glass beads before in different colors. And I love using them because that marble effect is so interesting looking. So anyway, these are really nice. I really like these. And this next strand is called rustic glass pearl beads. We've had rustic glass pearl beads before in different colors. And once again, we get a super long strand. It's 16 inches long. And guys, you can make several necklaces with this many beads. This is a very long strand. But anyway, the color is charcoal. But I see a lot of top in this color. It's more of a brownish color in my opinion. If this is charcoal, it's a very warm charcoal color. I would definitely call this color top. But anyway, guys, I love this color. This is such a pretty color. It really is. I'm definitely going to be using these beads somehow. Let's take a look at this strand now. These are jade style glass beads and the color is mellow yellow. And it is a very mellow yellow, I would say. It's definitely more toned down than this yellow. And the fact that they're translucent makes them even more mellow. They actually pair really well with these beautiful vanilla gold beads. I can see adding some bronze bead caps on these. I think that would really dress them up. And if I do that, I would definitely use these with them. So anyway, guys, I'm thinking of all kinds of possibilities. And it looks like we get another couple of gemstone strands. So I'm really happy about that. These are six millimeters in size and each one is between seven and eight inches long. Let's take a look at this one here. These are black onyx gemstone beads and they look like they're pretty decent quality. It's nice to be able to use gemstones from time to time because it really makes your piece look a little bit more upscale. Plus if you sell your pieces or even if you give them as gifts, it's very appealing to know that the piece has gemstones. So anyway, I love using onyx beads. They make really great accent beads. Let's take a look at this one now. Obviously these are more neutral. These are in a beige color as you can see, but I can see some color variation in these. I can see a little bit of tan as well as beige. And don't these two colors look nice together? I love the black and the beige together. And if you're going with a bumblebee theme, the yellow and black looks really nice together. But all of these colors coordinate really well with each other. I think Curated Bee Box did a really nice job this month. So I'm very anxious to see what I can come up with. And here's the final strand. These are called pressed glass tube beads. They're eight by four millimeters in dimension. And this is a 13 inch strand. And the color is brown, but they look like a dark amber to me. I really love the color of these beads. Look how well they coordinate with these larger beads. They're almost the exact same color. So if I use them, I would definitely use them with these larger 12 millimeter size beads. And actually this color looks really well with the black as well. So I'm not sure how I'm going to use them. I'm going to have to think about it. I'm getting all kinds of inspiration, but I don't know if I'll make a necklace or a bracelet. I'll have to think about it. And we also get some seed beads this month. The description says they're size 11.0. And as you can see, they're in a pale yellow color. Let me put them in a dish. I don't want to put them on my mat because I don't want to spill them anywhere, but look how pretty these are. 
They're definitely opaque and the yellow is a very cool yellow, but it's very pale as well. I may use these in the strands of a necklace, but I'm not sure yet. I'm still thinking about what I'm going to be making. Now these are not very consistent in size. Some of them are thinner than others. So I wouldn't recommend these for bead weaving, but you could definitely thread these on beading wire and have them be part of a strand, for example. And because these are a cool yellow, they actually go really well with these beads. My wheels are turning right now. I don't know what I'm going to be making, but I'm definitely going to be coming up with something really pretty. The final item in the box is the Finding Starter Kit. And if you're a beginner, this is the perfect thing for you because this kit gives you pretty much everything you need to get started. Let me show you what comes in it. As you can see, the findings this month are in a gold tone. So here we have some crimp beads. These are not crimp tubes. These are a little bit different. They're a bit smaller. And then we get some jump rings. These are very good quality jump rings, very thick jump rings, and these are six millimeters in size. And we get some lobster claw clasps. We get a total of four, as you can see. And we get some head pins. The head pins are usually pretty thick, and these are flat head pins. And we get some ear wire hooks. These are the kind that have the little bead and the little coil, as you can see. And we get some stretch cord. This is very thick stretch cord, so this is perfect for larger beads. We get some beading wire. As you can see, it's in a gold tone. And I believe this is seven strand beading wire. And we get some memory wire, as you can see. You get enough coils to make at least a couple of bracelets. So anyway, guys, if you're brand new and you're looking to get started and you don't know what to get, this is the perfect kit because it helps you to get started. It's not everything, but it definitely helps. So anyway, guys, that's the full collection. I really love it. I think the colors are really lovely. As you can see, they're very neutral colors. This one's a little bit different from the rest, but I'm pretty sure I could work it in somehow. And I love that they gave us gemstones this month. I'm very happy about that. So anyway, I'm very anxious to get started with a project. I don't know what I'm going to be making yet. I don't know if I'll be making a necklace or a bracelet or earrings. I'm going to have to think about it, but I know I'm going to come up with something. So please come back and check my channel for a tutorial coming up really soon. Let me go ahead and put these away and I'll come back and say goodbye. Well, what do you think, guys? Do you think I should make a necklace, a bracelet? Do you have any requests? Please leave them down in the comment section below. I can't wait to sit down and see what I can come up with. And by the way, guys, even though I don't respond to your comments, I read every single one of them. So anyway, guys, I'd really appreciate some feedback. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.